While correlation measures the linear relationship between two variables, sometimes it may not be reliable. It may be unreliable when outliers are present in one or both of the two data series. Outliers are few numbers of observations of a sample that are extremely small or large in values. An outlier may indicate bad data. The data may have been coded incorrectly. For example, you investigate correlation between R's in studying and score in exam. The scatter plot shows an outlier, a point which is far from other points in graph. Looking at the data, this pertains to score of 183. You already knew that the exam you investigated has a perfect score of 100, so it is impossible to have a score of 183. If it is determined that an outlying point is an error, then the value should be deleted from the analysis or corrected if possible. Sometimes outlier may be due to random variation or may indicate some interesting information. In any event, we should not simply delete the outliers before a thorough investigation. Does it make sense to exclude those observations? The general rule is to determine first whether the calculated sample correlation changes significantly after removing a few outliers. But we must also use judgment to determine whether those outliers contain information about the relationship of two variables and therefore should be included in the analysis. If you decide not to remove the outliers, the best practice is to publish the two analyses, one with the outliers and the other without the outliers. Being transparent in your report is a great way to make sure that you have a reliable analysis. Always remember that correlation does not imply causation. Even the two variables are highly correlated, one does not necessarily cause the other. Correlation does not tell us why and how the two variables are related. It simply says that a relationship exists. For example, Correlation between cells of jacket and cells of room heater. While the data shows that they have positive correlation, it does not necessarily mean that the increase in cells of jacket causes the increase in cells of room heater. Causation is more than just a correlation. It indicates cause and effect situation. It says any change in the value of one variable will cause a change in the value of another variable, which means one variable makes other to occur. Example of causation is when a person loses weight due to regular workout. Regular workout, the cause, is the reason why the person loses weight. The effect. Lastly, Correlations can be spurious. Spurious correlation is a relationship in which two or more events or variables are associated but not causally related due to either coincidence or chance or the presence of a certain hidden factor or third variable that affects the first two variables. Based on our previous example, the two variables, namely increase in sales of jacket and increase in sales of room heater, are positively correlated. However, it is not the increase of sales of jacket causing the increase in sales of room heater. The winter season, or the weather in general, the hidden factor or the third variable actually causes the sales increase of both jacket and room heater. During winter season, people buy jacket to protect their body. During winter season, people usually buy room heater to adjust temperature of their house. In other words, consider underlying factors before coming up with the conclusion.